and it markets and and then the, the system you know the market the, the marketplace our advertisers that they are rich in potassium and rich in you know um uh you know, in micronutrients and phytonutrients and, and and everything underneath the sun however you get all of those from animal based product an animal based product is going to be rich in you know, the essential vitamins the essential micronutrients the, the essential mineral uh, uh proteins and the essential fats and the animal based product is very low in carbohydrate and that's the way we evolved that we are here because we have a carnivore basis and we are om- omnivores i think for survival you know it's like you actually we we uh, our primary requirements are animal based but we will graze upon plant based foods when we can't get our animal based ones so you know we we survive with a plant based diet and we thrive on an animal based diet and and that's people think that's a controversial statement no it's freaking biochemistry and that's that's all my arguments you know tend to be it's, this is biochemistry I'm not, I'm not making that stuff up. And there's no and the, the Krebs cycle, which is a basic part of, hum, of 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 physiology, whether or not you're an animal or a human or an insect, is how we turn our food into energy: adenosine triphosphate (ATP). And we get it, and it can be done by protein, fats, and carbohydrates. And God, you know, God's whichever you know god with a little g or a big g or whichever whatever you believe in god wasn't stupid enough to make us chemically dependent on a seasonal food source god's given us the ability to actually utilize whatever is available in nature to give us energy to get from a to b and that's called the krebs cycle the luxury item in that the seasonally available ones, sugar and carbohydrate. But it comes at a price that it creates inflammation. Oh, the other thing about the seasonality and fructose is that fructose, the byproduct is that small dense LDL particle which gets into the blood vessel wall. That is cleared by macrophages called foam cells to get them out of that the wall and they're un- under the direct influence of vitamin D. So guess when fruit's actually seasonally available? It's normally the end of summer, beginning of uh, beginning of autumn. And so if you want to eat it at that point in time, there's generally an abundant amount of sunlight around, so you're going to have good amounts of vitamin D to actually get rid of the inflammation. We are not meant to be eating fructose in the middle of winter when we don't have sun. So our vitamin D levels drop down. So I think we get more inflamed through winter by eating sugar and i don't know if that's a contributing cause to that you know the winter blues you've got them in canada you know similar latitude north as we are south you know the end of winter everyone's got the blues and is it because their vitamin d levels are down or is it because their vitamin d levels are down and their inflammation levels are higher 